Hello everyone! Today is my turn to do an unboxing and a demo with the very popular Himi gouache. A lot of artists have already made videos on this. It's a gouache that you can find on Amazon. It comes from China and um, it seems to be very popular and people enjoy it, so I had to try it. So it comes in this very heavy, very sturdy plastic container. When I received it, the first thing that I noticed is that the lid was curved and didn't seem to close properly on both ends so i was concerned that it might leak because the gouache in there is really soft it's very moist so i contacted the company saying that i think uh, my lid is warped uh you know what can we do and they said it's normal and knowing a little bit about this gouache from watching other people's videos um, I'm guessing the reason why it's like this, it's not airtight. It's because the gouache that's inside those little jelly containers inside is very moist and if it was airtight, it might be prone to forming mold and that wouldn't be a good thing. Plus, since it's uh, not airtight, then the gouache is probably going to dry out. But uh, from what I heard, it re-wets very, very easily. So we'll see. So let's open this. It's closed very tight though on the sides. But if you want to use the lid as a palette, uh, it's not that fun that it's uh, warped like that. Even the palette that comes inside the lid is warped. So I don't know, maybe I can uh, unwarp it. We'll see. This is what we have here. We have 18 little jelly containers here. And I'm going to remove them because uh, they're all in weird orders and I want to put them before I remove their, the wrapper on top. I want to make sure I've got them in the order I want. And I got to find out if these two whites are the same because the numbers here aren't the same. So you won't find anything written in English. So color number and all that. So I'm going to go like this, I think. Let's see. So I've seen how messy it is to open them. So I'm going to try to not make a mess. So you see how moist they are. They're not liquid, so they're not going to leak probably, but they are very moist. I also found a color chart on Amazon where it gave the name in English of all the colors and the difference between the two whites that are in there. Although the pigment numbers are the same, one is just white and the other one is titanium white. I'm guessing that the titanium white should be more opaque than the regular white and you should be using the regular white for your mixes and using the titanium white for your highlights. As you can see, all the colors lo look nice and creamy and I was able not to be too messy. only had a little bit of paint at the, at the tip of my fingers, so it was not so bad. I use my Strathmore Mixed Media Tone Gray sketchbook. It's really thick paper. I think it's 180 pounds or something. And I wanted to do a study on that. So I wanted to see what the colors would look like on that gray paper. Also, the advantage of, of using a tone paper is that it helps you uh, really see the opacity of the colors. I was happily surprised to see that uh, all those colors are, are nice and opaque, some more than others, but it's to be expected. And uh, they lift really well, the white... The whites are nice and opaque. So far with the swatches, I was uh, pretty excited to give it a shot. 
So I found a picture of a hand that I sketched on the next page and I started playing around trying to mix the colors to try to find the right flesh tone that I wanted. It took me a few tries but eventually I was able to find something that I liked. All in all, it's a pretty nice gouache. It's nicely pigmented, it's nice and creamy, very easy to spread on the paper, easy to obtain some opaque results, and it spreads and blends really nicely. I don't know how light fast they are because there is no information on that, but I'd say that for the price, uh, they might not be. But I think that if you just uh, if you're just starting using gouache and don't want to spend too much money, these would be great. I think they work very well. Because there is some air going inside the palette, I'm pretty sure they're going to dry. So I don't know how well they will work after that. I'm going to have to test them out. But maybe if I spray them with water before I put the cover on each time, uh, they'll stay moist. I don't know. But there's a lot of it in, the, in one cup. So I'm guessing they're going to stay moist for quite a while. Hopefully. Then again, it's winter and the dry heat from the electric heater might just dry them pretty fast. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So I might try to do some kind of a light fast test, but being winter, the, the sun is not very strong, so I don't know when I'll do that. But in the meantime, I think it's great gouache to use for practice in a sketchbook so that I don't have to use my expensive artist grade gouache for just sketches, for just practice. I can just save those for more important projects. So I'm glad that after a little bit of hesitation, I ended up going for it and trying them out because they're very enjoyable. So if you're hesitating, not sure to if you want to buy them or not, I think for the price, they're under 20 bucks. I think they're worth it because they're a lot of fun to use. I hope you like this little review. I really enjoyed painting this little sketch in my sketchbook. If you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye. Thank you.